what is the secret in a nutshell to your <laughs> oh, <man>. high powered, <laughs> interesting, exciting, and loving relationship? Well, I would say we both have a sense of humor and we both are curious. In fact, Neville's dad, what did he say? Didn't he say? Marry a woman who's curious. Marry a woman who's curious. Oh. So um, we like to do lots of stuff. And I was a producer and actress before oh. becoming an attorney. Really? And I went back to school at 36 and became an attorney and then went into the master's degree program in entertainment law. Interesting. And that's when I met Neville. So oh. we both are already creative. I just kind of did it in reverse. I though. would say that uh, first we share the same values as people and... And then on top of that, we are not only both curious, we're interested in a lot of the same things. So it's not that easy to find somebody who wants to talk about law, which yes. I like to talk mm -hmm. about a lot, and also all of the other areas that I'm interested in, uh, you know, and, and, likes, and likes my music. I understand that you are the manager of Trevor McShane. I am, yeah. And what does that entail? Well, we, right now, the focus that we're, we're trying to get an album out coming up about every three or four months and then that involves not just the publicity on it but um, either a video short interview with Neville you know everything that goes with promoting a person's creative work we shot a video of a song uh, called true love and it was 100% of the video was shot with a drone. And the one we did before that was called Big Wedding Day uh, with a, a young upcoming actress. That. And the interesting story about this is we met this young woman. She's 19. She's from South Dakota. And so she came to Neville's office. And we met her and Neville said, I, I want to write with her. So I said, good. And he said, but I feel kind of funny. I don't want to not write a love song with an you know, old girl who could be my daughter. I said, well, don't do a father of the bride thing. Yeah. So th then they wrote this great song. The Big Winning Day, the longest yeah. walk I'll ever take. Yeah, yeah. it's beautiful. And, so. uh, and it's a really cute video. Well, we had a director. She graduated from CalArts. Um, she uh, did a fantastic job. We had locations all over the place and you know we're in Malibu, we're in the valley, we're in a church yeah, with great. a real pastor. I did a medley of the Everly Brothers songs, nine Everly Brothers songs and I love the Everly Brothers but what people don't know is that I reunited the Everly Brothers and uh, How and did I, that happen? I met their former manager and their music publisher and said we should do this and I got it all happening and then they cut me out of the deal and I ended up fighting litigation against them eventually, but I'm the guy who got them back together. Do you have to tell who's playing on it? Albert Fam Lee, who has became the band leader and guitar player for the Everly Brothers, plays on my medley. Oh, and fantastic. so what is happening on the new uh, video is going to be a collage of uh, Everly Brothers pictures along with my story about how I how I met them and, uh, and, and what I did with them. That's you, incredible. you have to tell, too, though, what Albert said when you asked him to play, and he's, he's British, you know. Okay, so, so it's very so they, there's, <laughs> The Everly Brothers do a song called uh, That's Old Fashioned, and I had done my medley, and I'm playing it for Albert, and he goes, well, Ned, there's, the way you do it is different from the way the Everly Brothers do it. Do you want me to do it your way or their way? <laughs> With that face. <laughs> he's a wonderful, wonderful. So, I did it their, I did it their way. Yeah, their way. <laughs> I think that's a good choice, yeah. So uh, so what is, what's in the future for you guys? I want to hear about how do you make it work as two high-powered attorneys? Well, I would say, first of all, in any relationship, that the main word would be forgive. <laughs> Nobody's going to be perfect. Yeah. But we um, can go head-to-head -head on a lot of things, but that lasts about 10 minutes, and then then we just forget. I think every, there's friction in every relationship for some people, but we get over it and there's a lot of laughs. And, uh, you know, the bottom line is really this, I just plain enjoy your company. And How long have you been married? It'll be 10 years um, in July oh, of 2016. Yeah, and I, you know, I never get bored with her. And you never know what's going to happen. And we, you know, we have a lot of great friends, and we get to, we have a good place to live, and we get to travel, and we have our health, and so all that works. We're mm -hmm. we're lucky. I would say, you know, Neville's the litigator, and and I do transactional. Uh -huh. So I have done some entertainment litigation, and um, the master's degree I have in entertainment law, I applied to toward transactional work, but also 
in estate planning and, uh. and probate because for us, the way I describe the two of us, it's like the, there's that story about uh, the lion and gazelle have to outrun each other in order to survive. Uh -huh. So he wakes up in the morning, Arr! he's the he's the lion, he's out there like this, and I'm the gazelle, dee, 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 you know, kind of, and then I turn around and go, can we just talk about this, please? So I think that that's probably good because it's a nice balance. What is your, What are your thoughts on the future of law and how it sort of intertwines with technology and entertainment? In well, the I think the most recent thing has been drone law. We were at a wedding recently, and all of a sudden I look up and I see this drone. But I looked up and I felt very uncomfortable because when you get a photograph taken, you know you're p possibly posing for it. Right. But this, you know, they we could, a drone could be all the way out there and zooming right. in right now on this conversation. That ties into the right of privacy. I'm a, known for that area of the law, and that's constantly evolving. And with the internet and Facebook and uh, the mining of information of people, uh, and then the hacking, uh, we've been involved in these cases. and. Uh, they're going to proliferate, there's going to be more. And, and then there's the whole issue of technology with copyright. And I represent a couple of major websites that are uh, have issues uh, relating to what they can use and when they can use it and how people get paid for it. And so there's never going to be a want for lawyers uh, in this particular area. Yes. It's constantly evolving all the time, just as law is constantly evolving. As technology evolves, law is going to evolve, and so is the legislature going to have pa pass laws to keep up with the technology, although they a common saw is that it all, the legislature is always five years behind. Five at least. Or yeah, more. Yeah, and so we got more. big problems right now with the internet. One of the big issues I face is people say bad stuff on the internet and you can't do anything against the internet provider for invasion right. of privacy or for defamation because they have this thing they have this immunity under the law and I think that that's that has to be changed. But I think it's even more invasive in the sense that that an in, individuals now can post things and uh, cyberbully right and that never goes away no. i mean maybe it can be taken down at some point but someone could take a screenshot save it forever right. and i also think that our legal system needs to be more accommodating or more uh, leaning more toward privacy of photographing children yes because i think that's absolutely wrong. There are a number of celebrities who live in our neighborhood and uh, will be driving down the street and there's the paparazzi and waiting Stalking. for mom and daughters to come out and you know just leave them alone. Right. My